Hello everyone. Welcome back to another DJI firmware update. This is the second one they've done now in January 2020. And the reason they, they released this one so quickly is that their previous update had a pretty annoying bug in it. And we'll just jump right into it here and they'll tell you what they fixed. And again, they're using the word here optimized where I would say it's really they fixed a bug. They're saying that they optimized the custom on-screen display of the goggles. When the video transmission is disconnected, the on-screen display will not be disabled. So the actual bug here is that when you disconnected your air unit from power, your goggles would turn off the Betaflight OSD. So you, every time you flew, you had to turn on the ability to see your Betaflight OSD. And that would, was really, really annoying for everybody who's using that. But that's not what's the most interesting thing about the release notes this time. Um, down here is just the normal stuff you can skip over. That's just how to carefully update your firmware. But the most interesting thing is they, they're giving us a hint here about what's coming in the next update, hopefully in a month, maybe a couple months from now. But something that people have been wanting and asking DJI about a lot for a long time now is how to get a HDMI output or how to get live video output from the goggles. And they're giving us a hint here they're saying that there's going to be, in the next firmware release, the ability to view HDMI live broadcast by connecting the goggles to the DJI smart controller. Now, I don't have a smart controller, and I'm not exactly sure how that will work. And it looks like the DJI smart controller is not cheap. But hopefully this is just the first step in DJI going down the path of finding different ways for us to get HDMI output out of our goggles. But that'll be an interesting one to test out for sure. And then this next thing they say it's coming in a new, new firmware update in the future, uh, a menu setting to choose to enable recording after unlocking the flight controller. Again, that's an odd way to say it. But right now, you if you've got a memory card in your system, as soon as you arm the quad instead of unlocking, I don't know why they call it unlocking, but as soon as you arm it automatically starts recording. And it looks like they're going to give you the ability to disable the automatic recording. And this one here, the last one, the last line in this document is something that a lot of people have been not so patiently waiting for. Uh, it has to do with home point direction, altitude, and GPS speed. So they say now uh, in the next firmware update, there will be a new custom on-screen display information. And that means when you're flying with GPS, it will give you the altitude, your speed, and what most people have been really, really waiting for is the arrow that points to back where you took off from. So that's gonna do it. It's just a really short update this time with one bug fix and some hints at what's coming up next. It should be quite exciting. Can't wait to see it till, <clears throat> can't wait until we get that next firmware release. Till then, see you later. Thanks for watching.